Hey guys, I'm Nick Drosos, Dr. Andrew Steinberg, and welcome to another episode of Have the Balls to Talk About It. And we have our guest back, Dr. It's got to hit the balls, Dr. Danino. Yes. <laughs> and we're going to talk about something I've never heard about. Yes. Until you guys talked about and mentioned it. Yeah, buried it's a penis. Buried penis. And it's not a rare thing that I've seen in my practice. For me, it comes to light in, in, in two, and I've sent them a couple of patients on this. It comes to light in two different scenarios. One is people feeling their penis is too small or shrinking or, you know, it used to be this big, now it's this big. Uh, and two, sometimes um, when I have to do a circumcision for phimosis when the skin is tight, there's none, all the penis is buried inside. So as soon as you try to fix the skin, the skin, the penis gets buried again and they can have recurrent of the same but thing. But this is when, when you have an average size penis. It, there's no I think it's irregardless of the penis okay. size. I think it really has to do with the pubic fat pad and, 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 and how the you know, gravity pushes everything down and it almost envelops or invaginates the penis. So I see that not rarely. You, how, I don't know, how often do you see it and deal with it in your practice? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a growing problem and, uh, and most of the time, shrinking problem. Yeah, <laughs> most of the time, over overweight people or people that had a big variation of, of, of weight yeah. over time. Uh, so, uh, the the physio physiological problem is that the 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 skin and the uh, the the fat on the pubic area, it's a very dense and very heavy fat that will push on the penis and that will pull over the penis inside. So you will have the classical fact that, it, that will restrain the, ligament, the, the penis inside, which are the ligament. But over the ligament, you will have this mass of fat that will pull the penis inside. And sometimes it's impressive and you, people think, well, I used to have a 10 centimeter penis, now it's two centimeters. But when you pull the penis and push the fat, you show them, it's, you know, and you, you, he said, look, it's all there. It's just buried, literally buried. It's but it, buried. It, is the main problem obesity or could somebody who's not, like, let's say big still have that? Most of the people had the problem with obesity or, or a big variation of weight. So you can see people that now have a good weight and have a good, uh, have a good shape except that they have this excess of skin and except that the, the fat in the suprapubic area doesn't fade away. Even if you lose There's weight, weight. You, you won't lose that one. Another factor is that also the skin on the testicle, and that's where we're going to, to the testicle lift, the skin on the testicle with these, with these people with huge variation of weight will also stretch a lot and will increase this impression of buried penis. Yeah. So when, when you want to fix that, you have to remove this very dense fat, which is difficult, which c you cannot remove by liposuction. Oh, yeah. So it's impossible to remove by, e even new technique of li water jet liposuction, vibrating liposuction, you cannot. Just it's, because it's too. It's too dense. It's like. Have you ever seen liposuction? They put in a little yeah. straw and. <laughs> Like so out. they can't do it here is the reason like no well, you, you cannot do it in this fat it's also very difficult to to do it in gynecomastia for example mm -hmm. in a so for men but in, in the supra pubic area you cannot deal with it with with liposuction only you need to remove this fat with manually surgically so you need to remove some skin and you need to go and remove the fat and and oh always be careful of the anatomic element that you want to preserve at the same time because it, it's it, sometimes it's very connected to the to the pedicle of the testicle which is not far and uh, so so it's it's a it's a it's a delicate surgery but sure. you have to handle this fat manually you and, and it's a lot i have a guy who had a who exactly like you described he lost a lot of weight i think he probably always had a buried penis but now it's just he can see and he's realizing it when, once he lost all his weight. But it, it, it's a big piece of skin and fat that you have to remove, probably three, four, five pounds, no? Oh, yeah. It, 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 can, be, it, it can be three, four, five pounds. And, and, uh, and after removing this fat, you have, to, you have to deal with the skin. 
because you have to redrape the skin to to to, to exteriorize to 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 be able to see the penis again. Yeah. Because you will have the huge amount of skin when you remove the fat. So you have also to remove a lot of a lot of skin. skin. So then it's an overall plastic surgery then, right? Do you do the aesthetic part as well? Oh. All of it together. Of course. Of course. And uh, and it, it's 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 a difficult plastic surgery because most of those patients have also at the same time a belly problem, an excess of fat in the belly. But you cannot deal with those two parts at the, the same, same time. Okay. So people have to understand that first you have to deal with the penis and the, with the buried penis and the suprapubic lipectomy. Then you have to wait a certain amount of time. Then you are, you are able to do a classical abdominoplasty. It's almost like the reverse of a tummy tuck. Exactly. You know, instead of exactly. pushing everything down, you have to remove and push everything. But, but wouldn't, wouldn't you do it the opposite way, meaning lose the weight first and then? Oh, you always lose the weight first. first. Okay, you always okay, okay, stabilize okay. the weight first. The question people are often asking to fix the belly with a tummy tuck and to fix this at the same time, which is conceptually impossible. Mm -hmm. you, you have to deal with two different force on two different directions. So you have to do it step by step. And, and how long between each one? Usually it's six months six minimum months. between each one. So it's really a program and uh, that you have to follow. So you remove the fat, you uh, cut the suspensory ligament in all patients or yeah, case by case? It, most of the patients, I cut the suspensor, I remove the fat, I cut the suspensory ligament, and then I fix the, the skin on the pubic bone. Mm -hmm. I fix the skin of the suprapubic area on the pubic bone. So it doesn't exactly. collapse downward. And again. then I also fix the skin of the, of the scrotum on the pubic bone on both sides of the penis. So to be sure that, that the penis will be visible in all in, yeah. in, in all views. It's not a small surgery, but it's. Uh, how long? I've seen the results. How many, how many hours? It's amazing it's results. It's 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 about it's a three hour procedure. So it's not a small surgery. It's also a surgery where you have to to perfectly see the pedicle of the of both testicle mm -hmm. and isolate as isolate them to be sure that when you when you put the skin on the pubic bone, the skin of the scrotum and the skin of the, of the suprapubic area, you, you're away from all the important thing that Dr. Steinberg is dealing with. It looks like... Yeah, but the, res the results are dramatic. I've seen, I've, I've seen a couple of patients and uh, patients are super happy with the results. Because it, all of a sudden they go from a two centimeter looking penis, or but it's barely they can't even see it. But it's always there, right? It's just a matter. It's of there. You yeah. Just can't. Uh, yeah. I was called into the emergency room one time to put in a catheter in an obese patient with a buried penis, and you literally could not see his penis. We had to use a vaginal speculum to look inside. So I'm telling you, these cases are dramatic, and they're normal sized penises. And and you know some of the and a couple of patients that I've seen who've had this. Like I said, they've gone from almost invisible penises to completely normal, hanging normal, looking normal. Uh, patients are super happy with those results. And, and really the, the mistake and, and the danger is, is that in some case, at the beginning, even me, we were, I was thinking that the, the problem that, that the for, was that the foreskin was too tight and was keeping the, the penis. And this is a completely misunderstanding of the problem because the problem is not the first. So, so some people are doing circumcision, which is... Trying to fix, thinking that yeah, that's going to fix the problem. That it, and it won't Logically, fix the problem. it makes sense. It makes sense. It's, it makes perfectly sense. But, but in, in fact, in some people, it was a dramatic complication of the problem because then I don't have enough skin to move out the penis yeah. and I need to skin graft or yes. and, and that's where we began to work on this with with some of my colleague uro urologists at the SHUM uh, people who had circumcision who had a buried penis but I'm not able to do the, te the classical technique the aesthetic technique because I miss skin so I need to do a skin graft or a flap or a difficult reconstructive process yeah but it's not always easy, you know, patients want the quick fix and they think that circumcision is going to be the quick fix to this. 
But as a, as, a, as a doctor, do you tell them, well, this is not going to help you? Or I guess it's, it's the problem is it's sometimes it's the right decision to do a circumcision, but sometimes, so it, it's really a difficult problem. Yeah. And even after seeing a lot of them, I spend a lot of time analyzing the quality of the skin. I need to see picture in erection just to see the amount of skin. So it, it, it's, re it's really a difficult problem to handle. But when you understand wh where is the problem exactly, then you can fix it. I think the bottom line is you need, because there's probably a, you know, a million people who will do these kind of surgeries. You really need to get someone who yeah. understands it properly. Anybody can come and, yeah. any plastic surgeon can come and chop off some fat and whatever, but to really understand, you know, what, what's impressive with Dr. Danino is he really studied and understands the whole anatomy and how everything's attached, and that is crucial for, for good out, outcomes. And I think, too, from what I'm learning is really understanding the, the patient's overall, like the steps and needs, and not just, you know, try to... Yeah, yeah, uh, as always in... We're going back, as always in aesthetic surgery, you have to help. We are doctors, so, you, so I have to never forget that I am a doctor, so I have to help to be sure I can help the patient. This is, this is the, the main goal of the surgery. Yeah, so it's, uh, I know, and you, we started talking about it, you never heard of a buried penis, but yeah. it's, it's, it's a real thing and, it's, uh, and it can significantly Im impact uh, quality of life for some of these men. But luckily, we have an yes. option. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Have the Balls to Talk About It. Dr. Danny No, thank you for coming back on. Have the balls to talk about it. Where can they find you? They can find me on my website, drdanino.com, and, and all over the internet. Great, guys. We'll put the link in the comment box. Make sure to subscribe, to hit the bell, and we'll see you next week.